Okay. I want to get into today because I'm really yeah. excited about not just this episode, but the next three after this episode that you're going to get. We are bringing y'all a series and I'm really excited to dig in. Um, so it's going to be a four part series dropping Tuesdays and Thursdays for the next two weeks. And we're covering the four things a service business must get right. And the reason why we're having this conversation is, and we've mentioned this before, but we feel like the, um, the higher level resources that are available, the higher level, um, articles, uh, teachings, et cetera, from, you know, really accredited human beings like Harvard college professor level people are not geared for the industry that is in our audience, the literal tens of thousands of people who listen to this show. And I feel like every single year I am surprised for some reason that there are just such a lack of resources and education for this space. Yeah. Specifically for this, for the business owners who are established, who want to figure out what's their next move in business and in figuring like literally researching and Googling and looking up what the next move is, everything out there is geared towards the service industry, but in a completely different lens than how y'all serve your clients. And so we've done a lot of reading and a lot of digging and, and we are, one of our favorite things to do is to read something, learn something, even if it's geared towards a different industry yeah, entirely absolutely. Yeah. and tweak it of what, how could that work for us? How could that work for y'all? And so that's what we're doing over this series. And I'm really, really excited about it. Yeah. I, I really think these are some of the key elements that you need to be paying attention to. And they're, they're foundational, but not necessarily in the sense of like getting your business started, it's more in foundational and leveling up. Like you have to establish this before you kind of crest that next step, which when you're going from six figures into that multiple six figure space, it can be, it can be a, a challenge. There's just like a whole new set of things you're facing. Well, and, and if even leveling up your revenue that much isn't something you want, but you're at consistent 10K months and you just want it to not feel so fucking hard. Totally. That this this is what we're talking about. So like yeah. what we've talked about with our, our audience before is how business is cyclical and you start your business and you have this like young, naive way of thinking and you try on all the things and you like just go forth and see what sticks. I love that about the beginning of business. Oh, yeah. And then you get established and you're bringing in consistent 10K months. You are consistently booked out. You're saying no to clients because you don't have the time and capacity. All of a sudden, you you feel brand new in a different way. Oh, yeah. Because you know that something needs to change, but you don't know what it is. You look or you think that other businesses, it's easier for them than it is for you. Or they you have like something figured out that you Yeah, you feel know. like there's something missing. How many times have we said that, right? Um, and you're, you're not sure what it is. And I like, I know what it is. We, we literally work with hundreds of service-based business owners who charge anywhere from a thousand dollars to $60,000 for their clients. And, and even more than that. And it's the same for every single one of them. And I think I'm like officially over the, overachiever, highly successful service-based business owner who still feels like she's doing it all wrong. And I want to fix yeah. that. No, because you're not doing it all wrong. You've got it pretty damn far. And let's let's make it feel a bit more easy, but also ha have some like groundedness to what you're doing at this next stage. So in part one today, we want to help you identify your result. What is it that you're ultimately accomplishing for your end client? Um, what, what solution are you providing? And specifically, like, how is that setting you up so that you also can have very clear boundaries, clear scope, um, but also have really clear communication so mm -hmm. that people understand what it is that you're doing. Well, because 
going back to that beginner naive business owner of throwing spaghetti at the wall and trying everything. We love that energy. I'm here for that energy. And that energy has to stop once you reach a certain level. And you know that and your clients know that, but we don't know how to do that. And so the conversation we're having with business owners who seem to have it all figured out and have checked all the boxes and they're still sitting there on a call with us and they're saying, I don't, I don't know what I actually do for my clients. I don't know the problem that I'm solving. Or or perhaps it's not that they don't know. It's that they've let their client tell them what they need solved. And then they're like coming in with this, like a superhero with a cape on their back and saying, I can do it. I can do it. I can help you with that. And I think there has to be this mind switch where like you can you can get really far with letting your clients define what they need for themselves and you being there to step in and provide backup and support Mm -hmm. like that can take you so far. I think to ultimately get to the next level, we, we talk a little bit about productizing your service. And part of that is a level of refinement and you have to hone in in some ways. And if you can get clearer on what it is that you're ultimately doing, this is just one aspect of refinement that allows you to be more clear about what you're ultimately going to do for people. Yep. 